this all right now. Because of the self-sacrifice and the love that she has for you. All of you. Well, we decided that my roommate and I that we were going to move into a new place. And by doing so, we moved into a, an apartment building where we ended up being in the same ward and we were assigned in the same family. And she's stubborn. I know where my kids get their stubbornness. She was kind of pursuing one of my roommates. And I was interested in one of his roommates. <laughs> When we were in our first apartment, it was a cold night, and we had a window open. And it was just too cold. Doreen said, we need to close the window. And I learned that we means me. <laughs> I, I think this is worth just dating, and we just were together from that time on. I've been very grateful through my life for her support in my work and in And after that, his little brother Eric and Grandpa Payne really worked him over and talked him into keeping me. <laughs> we got in, engaged that next October and married in January. These are some things I remember about her early in the marriage when I remember seeing her in the kitchen and doing a little happy shuffle. Um, just so cute, and singing a little happy tune while she was working in the kitchen. Her tender feelings for that. We have many challenges, and we continue to have challenges. I love her devotion and self-sacrifice for her family and for the Lord. I think that Jaylene kind of said it best when she was trying to explain to her kids about Grandpa's eyesight. And she said, you got to remember that Grandpa doesn't see well, but he, he pretends that he can see really well. And that is just true. That's just how it is. And now that's with his hearing, too. He pretends he can hear. But he did get new hearing aids. So that was him. <laughs> I've always been impressed. I, I haven't been in the classroom very much, but in the times that I had, I listened to her colleagues. She was a master teacher, very professional, and elite in her abilities. And the same is for me. In the Relief Society calling and permanent calling as president. Anyway, we love you kids. We just continue to learn and change and grow. And it's just been a miracle to us tonight to be here with you and to feel of your love for us. And you're also family. Thank you for letting us be with you this special occasion. For us to you, we bid you farewell well by saying mahalo and aloha. aloha. Thank you once again. Mahalo, everyone. But this is what it's all about, is to grow as families.